Gamers and we're here with something a little bit different today. I want to talk to you about the latest version of the Android operating system, this is Google Android, which is Android 4.0. Now, I have found a tablet and it is the first, supposedly from their website, the first Android 4 tablet in the world. Uh, now this is the A Novo, or it has been also known as A Nol, A I N O L, um, and this is a, um, as I said before, the first uh, ice cream sandwich, which is what the latest version is known as, and it has. Let's have a look. We've got an Ingenic uh, J Z four seven seven O. CPU, uh, presumably. We've got an X burst chip, is the uh, thing the Bob. Um, that's probably your computer chip, actually. I don't know. I'm not amazing at knowing these things, but as you can see, the just odd pictures are from the actual tablet. And in a minute, I'll go into the specs. So it's recognized as the Game Loft Genuine Games. Um, thing, and you have like a whole app or something dedicated to Gameloft stuff, and it comes with Spider-Man pre-installed, which is uh, not amazing, but at least it has something. It's got 300 hours of standby, with 6 hours for games, 25 hours music, and 8 hours for video, along with 7 hours for browsing the internet, and... The next thing along is the uh, dual cameras. You've got one on the front and the back. Um, the one on the front, I believe, is a 0 0.3 megapixel camera, mainly for Skype and something similar to that. And the back is a 2, um, two megapixel camera. Um, you can watch video in 1080p HD, and that's pretty cool along with some, it's got Wi-Fi and 3G, provided that you get uh, a dongle or something of the like. We've got a 7-inch capacitive, and so not resistive. Um, this is the multi-touch capacitive screen. Uh, it has some X-Fat storage, whatever that is. Um, but never mind, I don't even know what that is. So the next thing along is to, if I scroll right back up to the top, we now can talk about some specifications. I know I don't know all of them, but the ones that I've been searching for, I have found. So basically, we have the uh, is 512 megabytes or half a gig of uh, DDR. Uh, DDR2 RAM uh, and it's a 7 inch capacitive touchscreen what I believe is 800 by 480 as its resolution we've got a 8 gig um, hard drive which can be expandable through the external SD card slot to 30 well with a 32 gig card so that's the micro SD card slot I think. Uh, we've got a mini USB port. Um, then we've covered that, basically. Um, we've got, oh, the operating system is, as we said before, Android 4. Now the current version is only running, I believe, 3.2, but if you order it, well, basically now, I think you can get Android 4, it was a little while ago that it was just running on the previous version of this, was, I think, 3.2. And now what really surprised me was the price. Bear in mind, the company, uh, Anovo, are a Chinese company, and generally most of the uh, tablets that come out of China are copies of other things, mainly like the iPad and things like that, but this seems to have its own unique design in a way, I mean it's similar to some things but the buttons on the right hand side just down here and it's camera there do make it stand out just that little bit. So the cost is only $99 um, which if you're in the UK like me that's about 64 £65 um, 
if you're in America and you want to get it early, you can pre-order it before it actually becomes on sale there. Uh, you'll be paying a pretty big handling fee for postage and packing of 50 more US dollars, but still under 150 US dollars is fantastic for a tablet that seems to be quite good. Um, I might do a review of this at some point, but the chances are I'm not going to get one. Um, I'm probably going to save up for a pretty good um, mainstream one, as these don't seem to be, uh, they, you can't 100% rely on them. But I have to say, this tablet is looking fantastic. With um, all of its specs, it does compete with some of the uh, Arcos tablets, for example, and the other cheaper uh, budget brand tablets, and they're doing very well by the looks of it. Um, however, on Amazon, you can get basically an identical device. I'm not going to show you because it might infringe copyright. However, um, it is called the N7 tablet. I'll leave you to find it if you really want to. The N7 Asteroid, and it. I presume, well this has been on for a long time and it's Android 2, uh, this one's only like Android 3 that can be upgraded but it's identical in basically every way so I'm not sure what's going on there however if you see the same tablet as this chances are uh, the Anovo brand have given the rights to whatever company uh, is selling it notably the main ones will be OMG computing or something like that and there's a few more that all sell the same tablet under different names so uh, just be aware of that but it looks like a pretty genuine tablet so um, I'm sure it'll be pretty good so I just wanted to show you this and uh, just say this is the cheap one of the cheapest tablets in the world and it's the first ever Android 4.0 so that's a massive uh, improvement as we expected big companies to be bringing out these ones, but no other uh, companies have actually announced properly a new one. They've only said that they'll upgrade older tablets. But this is amazing, and I am going to stop the video now because there's no need to uh, for me to talk forever. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, we'll see you next time where we'll either be doing some more tech reviews or gameplay footage. So we will see you then, guys. Thank you very much for watching.